Hi and welcome to the first video of the Clarity Roadmap series. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. Let's meet Sid, a Portfolio Manager in Headmoral Bank, who is responsible for managing the digital banking initiative launched by Headmoral Bank. Sid starts by creating a hierarchy to identify the existing investments in Headmoral Bank that have been aligned to the digital banking initiative. Sid now plans to create a roadmap that will identify the new investments and highlight enhancements to existing investments needed to launch the digital banking initiative. Let's create the digital banking product line roadmap. Let's start it from this year and spread it over the next year. Roadmaps are fiscal time period aware so that you are not forced into using calendar periods. We can now see the timeline layout for roadmaps. This layout helps stakeholders and teams visualize and model work. In the Properties tab, we can add a description for this roadmap. We can also change the duration and start period of the roadmap if needed. Every roadmap includes items that you want to plan during the roadmap's timeline. In our scenario, SID will create roadmap items for new investments associated with the Digital Banking Initiative. We can create a roadmap item by dragging to draw the item on the timeline. The Details panel includes all the mandatory fields required to create the roadmap item. Let's specify that this roadmap item is committed to being part of this roadmap. Because this roadmap item is crucial, we can set the must-have field to top choice. Let's add some details about the roadmap item and select currency. We have added our first roadmap item by using the timeline view. Let's navigate to the board layout which allows you to manage the life cycle of various roadmap items. Let's create another roadmap item, populate mandatory fields in the details panel. Finally, let's navigate to the grid layout. This layout uses the familiar Excel spreadsheet view and displays a list of roadmap items and associated attributes. You can use any of these layouts to create and update roadmap items. Let's create a new roadmap item in this view where we can enter data directly into the various columns in the grid. Sid now feels confident he can create roadmaps by using Clarity. However, he has a few customizations in mind. He collaborates with the administrator to add the Blueprint field to the Properties tab so that users can quickly switch to a different Blueprint if needed. He also adds a link within the roadmap to a document that describes the investment approval process. This will help executives seamlessly navigate and review it before approving the roadmap. You can now associate the new blueprint to the existing roadmap so that users will be able to see the blueprint field and the new channel in the roadmap. Thank you for watching this video. Watch the next video in this playlist to learn how Sid and his team quickly import roadmap items into the existing roadmap by using a CSV file.